I wanted to begin our day with an affirmation of what has taken place in this past week during our renewal and exhort you with, with, for today's meeting. When I have considered the purpose of the Refreshing Waters Renewal and why it was named that, I've always associated it mostly with the refreshment part, and rightfully so. The saints are refreshed when we gather together and hear the preaching of the gospel. Yeah. However, this year I pondered more on the aspect of renewal and thought about what is renewal and what are the things that we renew. Yeah. In the earth, we renew things, mundane things like driver's license, passports, library books, subscriptions, memberships, anything like that. And we renew those things because the measure which is usually the time period or the money in these cases, the measure that was given is filled up and it needs an extension in order to remain valid. And if, not re if it's not renewed, expiration is imminent. In Christ, we have need of renewal. Yeah. Renewal can signify a new beginning or a fresh start. And I'm reminded of the prayer of David in Psalm 51.10 where he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. I am thankful for this expression of faith as we have all identified with David in being broken over our own sin. However, this renewal in Christ is not limited only to an act of repentance. It is not a repetitive cycle of sinning and confessing over and over again. It is an extending and furtherance of purpose and resolve in the Lord. Amen. It's not a vicious cycle of starting all over again from ground zero. It's an upward and forward and ever increasing stance that requires grace from God to carry on. Amen. The fact that we live in this world, which is hostile yeah. against God, requires that all believers, from newly born believers yeah. to even the most seasoned veterans of the faith, to be renewed. Yeah. We need this renewal because we live in the flesh. Right. The new man resides in earthen vessels, and earthen vessels are mortal. There is a constant resistance that the new creature endures, and this calls for a constant source of fuel to feed and strengthen that new man. Amen. As long as we remain in the earth and are waiting for the redemption of our bodies and the salvation of our souls, renewal is vital to our spiritual lives. Amen. So how are we renewed? Do we make ourselves new? Do we renew or update our status with God by our own willpower or strength? If we have stumbled along the way, do we decide that we're going to resume our fellowship with God without any consequences if there was no interruption or need for cleansing? No, we do not. Renewal is a work of God. Amen. We don't do the actual renewing. He does it in us. Yeah. We are the subjects that are being renewed. Amen. We aren't trying to be renewed. We are attempting to be renewed. That is who we are. It is what God is working in us. We do take hold of the provisions that are provided in Christ, yeah. and God gives the increase. Amen. Romans 12.2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. By the grace of God, we offered our minds to the Lord this last week, and they have been renewed Amen. as we considered Christ. Therefore, we have been transformed more into his image. This, this really happens as we seek him. Amen. Ephesians 4, through 24 says that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Again, by the grace of God, we had gathered together in brotherly love, took Brother Aaron's exhortation, gave no room for the flesh to express itself. We girded up the loins of our minds so that we could run in the truth, giving the new man full advantage to lay hold on eternal life. As a result, were we not renewed in our thinking? Could we not discern the spirit and motives of our thoughts more clearly? Yes, we were renewed in the spirits of our mind, in the spirit of our minds. Isaiah 40:31 says, "But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes. They shall run and not be weary." 
and they shall walk and not faint. I am certain there were many brethren present at the renewal that have been waiting upon the Lord, whose circumstances may not be as publicly known as others, that gained much strength from hearing Christ preached. We witnessed our brother given receive physical strength in his body to preach. The Lord, he waited upon the Lord, and he gave him the desire of his heart. Amen. We also heard and witnessed powerful testimony of the Lord renewing the strength of his people. Amen. So by God's grace, the whole body was renewed in strength by hearing the testimonies. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians 4.16 and I thought about how the renewal was like a miniature parable or a commentary of that verse. Because we spent three whole days extending our physical and mental resources, all of our capacities to hear the preaching of the gospel. And even though our flesh is weak um, and it wore us out as the week went by, our spirits are willing and we grew stronger in faith regardless of what trouble our flesh gave us. By God's grace, we were renewed every day. Even God's mercies are new every morning. Colossians 3.10 says, And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. The knowledge of the flesh cannot comprehend the knowledge of God. We that are in Christ have put on the new man, and by the grace of God, we are able to comprehend the knowledge of our creator. We rejoice when we are able to understand who God is and what he expects of his people. Our old way of thinking and reasoning have been superseded with this new, renewed knowledge. Amen. So we see that God began the work in us by making us new from the start. He gave us a new heart and a new spirit like his own. Now we seek the Lord for his grace to maintain that which he has given us. Nothing about the kingdom is stagnant. Whatever God gives us is expected to be used up to the fullest extent. And when that happens, we have need for renewal. Amen. Our measure is filled up and it needs renewed to remain valid, so to speak. Not for fear of, of falling away. It's we as believers in Christ, we want our minds, our strength, and our spirits to be working at their optimum capacities without the threat of any kind of expiration. We don't want to faint or lose heart or fall from grace. So we avail ourselves to God, and he is faithful to supply all our need. I saw this working of renewal in a new light. It's as a reward from the Lord. Amen. Renewal means that the Lord is going to grant you further increase. Amen. It means you're being faithful with his goods, with the treasure that he has put within you, and he is counting you worthy of this enlargement and this increase. Amen. I considered the, the parable of the talents in Matthew 25. And in the account, as I read over it, the emphasis of it is the beginning, what, the, what he gave his servants, and then the outcome, what he got back. We know that two servants were busy trading, and one buried his in the earth. But as far as the matters of business that took place, among those servants, we don't know the details of what kinds of investments they made along the way. We don't know whether um, maybe they lost some and had to gain it back. We don't know all the details. But in the end, we do know that the faithful servants increased what they were given, and the Amen. wicked servant was stripped of what he had. Amen. The time of testing was at the end, when, when the master returned from the trip. God has given his people a love for the truth. Yes. And we have been buying and selling that truth and making e and eternal investments all week. So let's use today to continue in that labor to increase what the Lord has given us. Amen. Be discerning and examine what kinds of investment you are making and look for an increase. Perhaps you've been investing in an area of ministry that you thought was going to yield fruit but maybe it turned out not to be quite as fruitful as you thought yeah. so don't lose heart it, the end hasn't come yet the Lord has not returned yet although we are looking for it Amen. so make the necessary adjustments yeah. and keep your hand to the plow Amen. we just received a big increase from our investment at the renewal 
So what does that do for our spirits? It encourages us to stay in the work of God that he has given us to do, and it whets our appetites to increase our Lord's goods even more. Amen. We want to hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Renewing, uh, as we close here, I was considering how it, because it has to do with this extending a time frame or resuming or maintaining a status, I considered that it is in the realm of time, which means it's only going to need to be necessary while we're living here in the body. Yes. Just as we have been, just when you're physically laboring hard and you receive refreshment to your body, the, how you're invigorated again, we've all had that experience as refreshment to our spirits this week. So let's use it as a continuing resolve to walk with renewed focus and purpose. Amen. So Brother Gene has our class, and we'll pray for him, and we'll also remember our brothers, Brother Given and Brother uh Robert, as they are in need of renewed strength as well. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we are able to gather together in your name to hear the word of Christ preached to us. Father, we ask that today, uh, as your people speak, that we would be a blessing unto you. We pray, Father, that you would be with our brother Gene that, and give him grace to declare the gospel to us. We pray that we would also have ears to hear these things and that we would be uh, encouragers to his faith as well. Father, we also want to lift up our brother Given and our brother Robert as they are both in need of your strength to their physical bodies right now. Father, we are confident that they are strong in spirit and we ask, Lord, that you would cause for their bodies to match that. We pray, Father, that they would be delivered back to us very soon. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.